Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to a very different kind of video on my channel, guys. I am going to be showing off what I think is a kind of fun cosplay type build in Elden Ring that isn't really, it's not really based around being amazing in the meta, like being the best, one of the best builds in the meta for like damage or anything like that. It's more just a for fun cosplay type build to represent the character as best as possible. And I feel like I've gotten that fairly well in terms of most mostly the build over the look. The look is kind of hard to get for Kaido, <laughs> I'll be honest. The horns, this is I think the best thing we can get horn-wise. It's a helmet. Um, we didn't have very limited options for the facial hair and hair, but it was pretty much the best we could do. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to show off kind of the, the, the weapon we're using with the Ash of War and some of the incantations as well that I think I think make it a build where you could really uh you'd really feel like you're playing as Kaido, the King of the Beasts. I might do more of these for more uh, characters. If any, I, I might just do more One Piece characters because I think that's a uh, there's a plethora of choices that would be a fun to uh, to go from. But yeah, I'm just going to show this off. If, if anybody has any suggestions for things that would also work for this build that maybe I missed, feel free to leave them in the comments. But I'm just going to yeah, I'm just going to show stuff off here. Um, so I'm using the Great Stars weapon, which I think is the closest weapon you can really get in the game that's that matches Kaido's uh, Cannibal Club that he has. Couldn't really find anything else that matched it. There's a lot of other Warhammer weapons that are kind of similar to it, and you could maybe pick a different one. But uh, I, I, I like the look of this one. It's a bit spikier, I think, than, uh, than Kaido's is, but I think it works. And then also we have, obviously, the Dragon Communion Seal to boost our dragon incantations, as most of the incantations we have are dragon-based, because of course it is. We are Kaido, after all. And then, other than that, uh, I think the Greyhorned headband is kind of a necessity. And then, in terms of, like, the bracelets and the greaves, basically the, the arm and legs, parts of the armor. I feel like you could really swap these out for a lot of different things and it would look fine. I couldn't really find anything that looked like Kaido's cloak cape type thing that he has. Um, so I don't know if there's an option for that or maybe it's just something I haven't found or seen. And then in terms of talismans, um, I don't think, I think I, uh, these could really be swapped out for a lot of different things. It really depends on what you want to focus on more. There's a lot of options. I just have the Radagon Source Seal because it just boosts a bunch of stats and that's always nice. The Fire Scorpion Charm to boost all the fire. Well, I guess I say all the fire. We have two fire incantations. So it really depends on what you want. You can swap this out for the Lightning one or to make the Cannibal uh, Ash of War stronger. You could do a lot of other ones. You could change it out for ones that just give you more strength. It's really up to you. And then I have the Godfrey icon. Now, I don't know. I assume that this enhances charge spells like holding the fire breath longer. I would hope. I don't know if that actually does count towards it. If it doesn't, then I guess don't use this, but I, I'm just using it because I figured it did. And then I have the Phlox Canvas Talisman, which just boosts incantations because we have we have a lot of them and they, we could use them a lot. But yeah, I guess I'll just show off kind of what this is. So I have the Cannibal and I have the Ash of War Oops, I did not mean to do that. I have the Lightning Slash Ash of War. Um, if you want to know where to get any of these items for this build, if you want to like mess around with it as well, I'll leave uh, descriptions, I'll, uh, links in the description 
for each thing. Um, it would just it would take so long <laughs> to sh to show off what everything is in the video. So I'll I'll leave links in the description that will tell you where to get each of the things. Um, so you can look there if you if you want to get all of the all of the things that make this this build work. So obviously we have the cannibal with the lightning strike, which is just you know very Kaido. After you use it, you have lightning just on the Warhammer, which is great. A lot of fun. You can just swing it around. Does good damage. And then outside of that, just all the, all the dragon spells, honestly, are really, really cool. This one, I like very much suits uh, Kaido's... Ow. Pretty much suits Kaido's hybrid form with his tail, I would think. I have Dragon Ball Blessing, which is basically... Covers you in lightning, which is pretty cool as an option, just for fun. And then we have all the different dragon attacks, like the fire, of course. We have a Gil's flame for something a bit different. Oh, I need to actually heal my. We have the dragon claw. Just all the different dragon. Incantations. A lot, honestly, kind of. The fact that you can have most of these. I, I didn't actually realize you got. Uh, not invincibility frames, but you don't break your poise when using that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, just all of the. Basically, just get a big warhammer, put a lightning. A lightning war of ash on it, and then use all the dragon incantations that you can. And you're basically Kaido. As close as you can get to Kaido in the game, and if you if you want something if you want a fire attack that's a bit quicker as well, we have this. It's a little quicker. You can hold that, and that's pretty much all of them. That's pretty much the whole the whole build. It's very fun. I've been I've been messing around a lot, but just. Fighting these guys, fucking around with the building, it is very fun. Ow. Ow. Now, as you, you might not, you might see that I'm not doing like insane damage to a lot of these mobs. Which is, um, is, is, is to be assumed, I don't have, I didn't build the stats around this. I'm pretty much using the stats I had at the end of my playthrough, which was a, uh, a faith build so I just had the stats to be able to use all this stuff but you could definitely change your stats um around I'm level 150 and this is kind of what I'm I'm going with a lot of vigors always nice enough mind I think to be able to use this a lot of your incantations endurance is obviously you know nice although you don't really need a lot of endurance for this build because you're not going to be wearing a lot of heavy armor so you could maybe lower that a bit and then I have Dex up to 30, but that was only because of a different weapon I was using. But I think for the for this build, definitely want to pump a bunch into strength to make this a Warhammer work better. And then it's honest. I feel like it's honestly up to you how much strength, faith, and arcane you really want to put into each style. Like how much you want to pump each one to you know suit your playstyle. What what you're gonna you're gonna use the incantations more often, or you're gonna be you know, mostly using the the warhammer. So it's really, I think it's really preference. I, any kind of build could work with this, just a strength, faith build. But it's pretty cool, I think, that you can basically have a build that is pretty much Kaido. You know, looks a little like him, and then has all these dragon incantations. It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. I, I'm loving this game so much. I might look into doing more of these. Showing off some uh, spells, Ashes of War items, etc, etc, that can that can make you feel like a specific character. I think this is a, this is a... Now that I've finished with my actual playthrough of the game, I feel like this is a fun thing to just mess around with. All the different uh, bells that you can do in the game. But I will leave it there for today. 
like I said, all of the, if you want to get any of the incantations or the weapon or the Ash of War or anything that I used on uh, on screen, I will, I'll, I'll try and put all, I'll try and put as much, much of it as possible in the description so that you can, uh, you can find any of this stuff if you, if you don't have it, but I will leave it there. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye bye.